Applejack. Hi, buddy. Good morning. I hope you're all doing great today. Happy Tuesday. Oh. In the summertime when the grass is growing and it's just so lush and beautiful, I like to take advantage of free food. There are a lot of animals that like to eat grass, like sheep and bunnies and geese. So I like to put my animals out in little pens or little grazing areas. <laughs> so this is my little bunny grazing pen. Uh -huh. Did Flaubert jump the fence and he's getting in trouble? Macy's telling on him. Oh, Flaubert jumped the fence. He's in trouble. <laughs> Old dog telling on the young dog. Hey, I told you to stay. Hmm. We're working on it. We're working on it. But anyway, this is my little bunny grazing pen. I have it in the front yard. My neighbors made it. Uh, a couple of years ago, a year or two ago. And it works just great for bunnies. It's pretty lightweight, so one person can grab it and move it. And I just drag it a little bit every other day so they get fresh grass. I had it on one spot all winter, and you can kind of see where it killed the grass, so I'll just have to reseed right there. But they love it. It gives them fresh grass, fresh access to the air and the sun, and I give them a little water bowl. I leave for work in the morning, but Aaron comes home at lunch and checks on everybody, and then at um, around 4.30 when he comes home for the day, he'll bring Applejack back into the barn. So it's not for the whole day, it's just for most of the day, like he's going to work. Applejack is going to work chewing on the grass today. He's going to work doing little bunny binkies today. He's gonna be hopping around and having a good time out here. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's such a bunny. Applejack is one of my male Angora bunnies. I have four Angora bunnies. Two of them are related. So Applejack here is Dreema's brother. He's an English Angora. That's why he has those fluffy tufties on his ears. Handsome boy. All right, so while Applejack's enjoying some nice fresh grass in his little grazing pen, let's take some water to the sheep. Here we go. Got all my sheep out on pasture this morning. Fresh grass for everyone. We do that every day. So my girls are out on the side here. <coughs> Must be about 8 a.m. because everybody's driving to work right now. Hi, girls. <coughs> Hi. <coughs> Good morning. <coughs> Let's see if we can step over this fence without tripping. Oh yeah, blocked out, ha oh. <laughs> Here we are. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, girls. Hi, sweet pea. Hi, mama, you want some water? Okay. There we go. I like to leave them with a few waters during the day and then when Aaron comes out at lunch, he brings them another. So they get like six gallons during the day. Oh, there we go. Start our day the sheepy way. Still have these two little ram lambs out here with their mamas. That's Mr. Headbutt Jr. And that's Sammy. Checking out <laughs> over there. Um, those two are almost weaned. Mr. Headbutt is definitely weaned. His mama actually won't let him um, suckle anymore. That would be Sweet Pea's lamb right here, little Sweet Pea. She's pushing him off and she won't let him drink mama milk anymore. So I've watched him and yesterday I saw him sneak up behind Kaya. There's Kaya. She's Sammy's mommy. So she was nursing little Sammy and little Mr. Headbutt ran up behind her and tried to nurse. <laughs> I saw that, you sneaky boy. So he's weaned. We need to get him out of here. The ewes are kind of sick of him trying to mount them. He's just like a little ant driving them crazy. He can't get anybody pregnant yet. He's not, he's not fertile yet. He's still too young. 
but he's just practicing and it's just annoying. So I'm gonna move him to the ram area soon. I was just kind of waiting until I sold Kaya and Sammy over here. And actually they do have somebody interested, two people interested, so we're just kind of weighing out our options to find the best home. And then Sammy, Kaya, and potentially Popover are all gonna go to a home together. I know I have Popover separated. She's a ewe lamb. I've got her over with my ram lambs because um, she's a meat breed. And my plan was to send her to freezer camp. Yeah, so send her to freezer camp. Clubber, let's go check on the boys. Just gonna turn on my little energizer here. There we go, solar power. Safe and sound. I love the Electronet system. I have never had issues with Electronet. The only issues I've ever had have been human error. Like if I put my sheep out and they're really woolly in the winter, in the fall, and I put them out on Electronet and they rub up against it, they won't respect it. So I've always put my sheep out on Electronet when they are just freshly shorn and then they respect it. And I've never had issues with my Electronet shorting out because the grass is too tall. I've heard of people saying that that happens. I just walk along the edge line with my foot and uh, kind of part the grass right where the fence goes down. So I've never had an issue with it shorting out. I love my Electronets. That's why I have two of them. Come on, Flaubert, let's go see the boys. They're not far. They're just over this little grassy knoll. A little helper. Come on, buddy. Let's go find the boys. <laughs> That's his happy sound. He sneezes when he's happy. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on with the boys back here. Oh, I see some sheep. Here they are. Hi, boys. Oh, the grass is nice and thick back here. It's about knee high. We're working through it. Hi. Here they come. Hi. <coughs> Hi, Wispy Stew. Hi, Patches and Popover. Hi, Olaf. Good morning. And then way out there we have little baby Chase. So Olaf is our breeding ram. Popover might be going to a home with Kaya and Sammy. And the others are going to freezer camp. Freezer, freezer, freezer. Plus Mr. Headbutt Jr. So we've got four lambs we're putting in the freezer this fall. And the rest we sold. It's been a big year. Flo Bear, get out of that forest. Come here. Come here. Where are you? Come. Here he is. Hey, you come. Get over here. Good boy. Good come. All right. That's what's going on. Girls are out on the pasture. The boys are out on the pasture. One of the bunnies is out on the pasture. <laughs> and I'm gonna go to work. I love you guys. Hope you have a great day. Hope you enjoy this gorgeous weather. 70 degrees and sunny. Doesn't get much better than this. Although it does get hotter than this. So get ready. Love you. We'll see you soon.